to me too. What <laughs> about, you know, cause there's so much social media, like, look, you've seen like in this world, everyone yeah. has an opinion. Where are you guys today? Cause it seems to, you know, be changing by the week. I mean, do you have any communication at all? Um, you know what? I, I went to Charleston a few weeks ago and she texted me saying something. She was asking for somebody's number, but I, I haven't talked to her in fucking six months. So I'm like, why the fuck would she text me after six months, you know? And then I text her back, happy birthday, because her birthday's like August 6th, you know? So I text her that and that was it. But we haven't had contact other than that in six months. But I mean, I don't mind. If I bump into her, like, it's fine. I'll say hello. You know, we're not like, like enemies, <laughs> you know? No, you're not enemies, but yeah. there's no communication other. You, you, you gave her this phone number and that was it. Yeah, that was it. And it was actually one of my friend's phone number, which is kind of sketch, but. And you, know. and you never <laughs> asked her what she wanted I, with this friend's number. Uh, I, I sipped it. I sipped it. That's all. I'm not like that. I mean, did you <laughs> want to go on like a that. date with this friend? Hey, if, if that makes her happy, that makes her happy, you know? Wow. Whatever. How much, I mean, if at all, I don't want to put words in your mouth, like, did the show lead to this, like, you know, the problems and the breakup, like, you know, the public scrutiny, the cameras, like, would you well, say I that mean, contributed? Well, that's, that's something like I can't answer. You know, I, I can't answer, you know, whether the show did this, did that, did this. Um, but, I mean, it wasn't so much the show. I mean, the show probably could have played a part in it, maybe. But I mean, it, it was more between us two, you know, just us two and what she was going through and like the kids and like my savior complex, you know, that's, <laughs> that's what I had, you know, I, you know, I, I stayed in the relationship, you know, probably, we probably both stayed in a little bit longer than we should have, but I mean, we were, we were doing it because we loved each other, you know, and we thought we could chase things around. Right. And did the kids, you know, cause that's a lot for anyone to handle, like even yeah. if it's your own kids, but you know, she's going through a lot with trying to get the kids. Like, did that really play yeah. a factor too? That that's a lot to have to deal with. It is a lot to have to deal with. And like, as far as what they were going through her and Thomas and the way, like, I just felt like I couldn't be, if I was really, really in those kids life, I really couldn't be the stepdaddy that I, I wanted to be. You know what I mean? And like having that feeling, it just feels like, like, what am I kind of doing? You know what I mean? I'm basically just watching the kids. You know, I can't teach the kids anything or like discipline them. You know what I mean? Like, that's not my part to do that, you know? And if I, if I had that part to do that, I would have felt more involved. I just didn't feel too involved in the family's, the kid's life like I was in her life. And since I was in her life, I want to be involved in the kid's life and, you know, just everything she had going on. Right. That makes sense. I mean, that yeah. makes you a nice guy, right? I mean, a lot of people would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I didn't take on this role fully blind, you know. I, I'm 34 years old, so, like, I'm maturing. That's very mature of you. What about this conversation with Naomi? Like, did that kind of play into it, you know, where, like, that's her nemesis? And, like, we saw that led to a breakup on the show, and then you guys were back together, like... Or was it more just the kids and the custody battle with Thomas and everything else? I mean, it was it was a factor of everything. You know what I mean? It was it wasn't just a custody battle. It wasn't just Naomi. I mean, it was just it was just a lot of little things. You know what I mean? Like my teaching style was different from her teaching style. You know, like if I saw her do something wrong, I would tell her about it. But she was kind of in her ways to the point where. I didn't really see a change and you know she would tell me something and since she wasn't listening to me i wouldn't change we're both leos we would just bump heads all the time to the point where like hey we just maybe it's just better if we just kind of go our separate ways leos are very strong willed yeah yeah i i, I noticed that <laughs> I, I picked up on that and leos dating other leos usually is not the way to go in my experience <laughs> <laughs> do you ever, even though, you know, like you're moving on with your life and it sounds like you've learned, you know, to, you know, from her and the show, like to have yeah. more emotions, like, do you ever feel bad? Like when you see these headlines, you know, that again, have nothing to do with you about like her children and she's fighting to get them back. I mean, even now that it's been like six months since you guys have spoken, the headlines are still out there on a pretty regular the basis. The headlines are still out there, but to be honest with you, I don't really check up on that because if I check up on that, I'm just going to get in my head. You know, so like social media, I barely, I barely 
go on it. Now I'm on it. I'm not about to sit up here and lie and be like, I'm not on it. I don't know what's going on. I know what's going on, but I'm not going to read it. The less information I know, the less trouble, the, the, the more clear that my head's going to be. You know, I don't want to know all these things, you know? I don't blame you. I mean, do you get it? I mean, that's my best advice for anyone that comes into the reality TV yeah. realm. I, I say all the time, if this wasn't my job, people would think I like passed away. Like I'm not even trying to make a joke because I would just never be on social media again. Like there's yeah, so like, much I'm just, I'm, wrong I'm like with just it. Chilling. I like just chilling. Like it's, you know, now like I'll get people to come up to me and be like, oh my God, sell a charm, you know? Like that's cool. That Don't get me wrong. That's That's real cool. But you know, I'm more of the kind of under the radar, you know, because like, I like, I'm not squeaky, like clean person. Like, you know, I, I, I like to party, you know, I like to do some shit, you know? So, you know, I like to stay under the radar. You know, when you're in the media, then it's like any little fuck up. It's like, you're out there, you know? Are you aware of it? Like, so say, right. Like you go out to party at, like you're in a club in the corner. Like, are you aware that like, any phone that's even remotely pointed in your direction, like people are crafty. Oh, people are crafty. I catch them every time, though. <laughs> I catch them every time. No, I'm kidding. No, I've, I've, I've been caught a few times, but nothing too serious. Yeah. I mean, that's just what it is. That's it. Is what it is. It it is what it is. Are you emotionally like you know? And again, it changes every week. So you know, a week from now when this is released, or two weeks, you know, who knows? But you know, like when Catherine was like just recently on Watch What Happens, and you know, she's like, the only regret I have is that we didn't break up sooner. Like, is any part of you? I mean, a, do you agree with that? And b, is any part of you like? Well, I mean, I didn't watch it to be honest with you. Uh, but with you saying that, that probably is true. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and I'm not even going to take that as like a threat or anything like that. Cause I just, I just said, we probably stayed in a relationship four months too long, you know? And it just got bad. It got petty. That's what, it just got petty really. So like any little thing that we didn't like about each other, we started saying it and just saying it rudely, you know? That, once the name calling starts, like it, it's over, you know, it's over. Once the name calling starts, it's over. I mean, over. Do, do you have any regrets or about anything? I mean, I don't, I mean, the only regrets I have is the same thing she had. We stayed in a relationship a little too long, but no, I don't have any regrets because I, I learned, I learned from her, you know? I learned, you know, about like, you know, a woman's heart and emotions and expression emotions and like that. So like, 